got to remember the whole Gen AI revolution, you know, started back in 2022 and everybody's been waiting for the huge inflection point to, to, to start to move. The businesses out there only have a certain pile of money and they're only going to spend a certain portion of that money on AI. So you're going to see growth for sure. And everybody's moving into the AI space, but they're moving so cautiously and taking baby steps, which I think is frustrating the large tech players. We're getting many, many billions of dollars of, of investment cash that's flowing into them, but they're not seeing that cash put to good use in terms of expanding the market because the market is uh, not as mature as I think people thought it was going to be. So as the AI landscape evolves, the relevance on technology to technology transactions becomes a precarious strategy that risks long-term uh, stability. I absolutely agree with that. I don't like these kind of deals. They never felt right to me when I was in the tech space. I understand that I may be naive and I may be missing, you know, some opportunity to uh, massively inflate the stock that I own and then sell it and, you know, make wealth. But however, I think that the role of a technology company is to grow in a sustainable way around research and development and ultimately selling to the end customers, the pe end users, the people who are going to be leveraging this technology. So the absence of focus on genuine customer engagements, you know, particularly with Global 2000, threatens to undermine the potential of these innovations. So I underscore that the true value creation arises from addressing real world challenges, advocating for a paradigm shift toward customer centric strategies. So this is not just advisable, it's an imperative for the sustainability of the sector and the health of the broader economy. 